ask any pilot what the three most important things are while flying, and you should get aviate, navigate, and communicate. We spent a lot of time talking about aviating and fighting. Now let's talk about navigating. All right, so we've already covered how to create waypoints in the jet. You can see that video in the F-15E tutorial listing on my channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to use list points. And I just learned this recently a couple days ago over at the 51st Virtual Fighter Wing. You can check those guys out. I'll put a link down to the website below. And this is essentially adding a database of points on the map into your aircraft that you can then use as waypoints. You can build routes. Uh, you can use them to orient the pod. And we're going to show how to put those into the aircraft and then how to access them, create those routes. Now, full disclosure, I do not know how many list points you can put in the aircraft. I did not see it in the manual. Uh, I was talking to somebody who works on F-15s. I think they have like a thousand in the real aircraft. I don't believe that we've got that many and I don't think that you're gonna need that many, uh, but uh, certainly more than you're probably gonna use. And again, this is not really for the casual gamer. You're probably not gonna need to know this, uh, but if you're trying to make a larger mission, these are gonna come in very handy. All right, so like I said, what is a list point? It is essentially just points that we're going to put out on the map that we can then use later. They're not necessarily waypoints. They're not necessarily targets. They're just points. So we're just going to create some to give you an idea of what we're talking about. So we'll start with this aircraft here. He's already got two waypoints installed, right? It just goes out here where we dropped some JDAMs in a previous video. So he's just got two waypoints set up. So we got one and two. I'm going to create some list points. So let's say that we've got some sort of departure that's taking us out through uh, this pass here uh, to the northwest. And let's say that we've got another one that's gonna take us out here uh, to the east. So what we're gonna do is just add some points that we can create a route out of, but we're gonna keep this route here that we have, okay? So when we start up the aircraft, we're gonna see waypoints one alpha and two alpha. That's because this is route alpha in the aircraft. We can actually have three. We can have A, B, and C. So we're gonna be able to create this in the aircraft. So we're going to go over here to the right side where we've got navigation target fixed points. We're going to hit add. So we're going to plop some over here and then we're going to plop some over here. Now these are just going to number obviously in order of appearance. We dropped one, two, three, and four, but we can name them whatever we want. All right, so we're going to go to edit and point one. I'm just going to, just so that we can deconflict while we look at this and not confuse anyone, we've, we've already got waypoint one up here, so I don't want this to be one. So I'm going to call this uh, L for list one one. And then I'm going to go to the next one. Same deal. I'm going to go L one two. We'll go to the next one. We'll call that L one three. And next will be L one four just so we can deconflict uh but we've got one 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 two one three one four to the uh southeast so these points are in the database of the aircraft and that's it you're not going to pop in and have a route you're not going to pop in and have waypoints at these points these are just points on, uh, in the system that the aircraft knows about that we can then reference so what we're going to do is we've got route alpha we're going to create route bravo and route charlie and i'm going to show you how to do that let's get into it all right, so we're in the jet. Everything's aligned and ready to go. I'm just gonna bring up the TSD on the side so we can see. All right, A right here, route alpha is loaded. Points one and two, just like we talked about. Waypoint one is off in the distance there, 17 miles. And then waypoint two, if we just put in two, it's gonna go to two alpha, which is 32 miles out that direction. All right, so great. So if we wanna go to route Bravo, well, we don't have one. We don't have a route Charlie. All right, so we're going to add those list points. So first thing we're going to do, we're on our main page here. We're going to just go into the steer point menu and we want to add some new waypoints. We said we wanted to add a route Bravo. So what I'm going to do is type in the first point of route Bravo. I'm going to put one shift and then B. Now we're creating it. See, it has no information. It's not a real place right now. It's, it's, it's just make believe but we're going to make it something real. So we said point one, one, right? List point one, one. So I'm going to go one, one list. Boom. There's all the data for that. Okay. So that's loaded now. Let's go to the second waypoint of route Bravo. 
So we're going to go two. I'm not even going to put Bravo because it, it knows that we're thinking about Bravo right now. Boom, two, nothing's there. And we said list point 12, Shazam. Okay, so those points should be built in right about here. But we're still on route alpha, so we're going to shift to Bravo. And there it goes, one, two, and then it's just going to bring us back to our Bravo point. All right, so if we go back to menu, put in Bravo, steer point, Bravo, that is the base plate. That is where, that is right here where we are. That's where we aligned the aircraft. All right, so let's do it one more time. We're going to build route Charlie. So I'm going to go back into the steer point menu. I'm going to type in one Charlie. We said that was one three. And we're going to go to the second point, one four. We're going to rotate and there's our route Charlie. So now we've got all these different routes and then if we could connect them, right? We could do uh, different things if we wanted to somehow, for whatever reason, connect a point from Alpha to Bravo or Charlie, you know, we could just go in there and start messing around with the list points. So let's say that we wanted to go out Charlie and then come back in on Alpha. We could just create three Charlie. List point was one, 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 two. So let's go one, two. And then let's go four. Was one one okay so we went out and then we just added those list points back now if we go back to Bravo we still have that normal route we're just reusing the list points for a different route we can use it for multiple things now one thing to keep in mind is we might confuse the aircraft if we try to do things so for instance if I want to go to waypoint one it doesn't know which waypoint one I'm talking about because I've, I've essentially got multiple waypoint ones, right? I've got one Alpha, one Bravo, one Charlie. So we've got to be a little bit more specific now if we have multiple routes. Another thing is we can't make adjustments to the point that we're steering to. So if we were flying to steer point one Bravo and we wanted to change one Bravo to something else, we couldn't do it. All right, so we're gonna, it, it will not let you make an adjustment to steer point one Bravo. So let me try to change it 12. See, it's not gonna let me do that, All right? So in that situation, what you wanna do is, I, I think probably the easiest solution, oops, I hit the wrong button. I'm probably, probably the easiest solution is you could just put in uh, shift Bravo. Just put in, you know, keep flying, maintain your heading or, or whatever you're, you're, you know, you're trying to do. Just put in Bravo, cause you're not gonna mess with that one anyway. So you know you're not going to accidentally override it. Just put in Bravo, and then we can make adjustments. So what we said we wanted to change uh, one one Bravo. Whoops. We can put that there, and then we can make whatever adjustment we wanted to make to that. And then now we can go back one Bravo, and now we can go to it. Okay. So that's just the only thing that can, might trip you up. You start getting the flashing. It's just it doesn't like what you're trying to do because you're trying to change. Uh, what the aircraft's doing at that moment and it's not going to let you do that because because if you fat finger the wrong thing in at that point you know it's just going to get uh, a little bit funky for you all right so why is this important again if you're just a casual player you're just kind of jumping in just doing dog fights and stuff it's not a big deal if you're creating missions for yourself and your friends or you're part of a large group uh, having those points is uh is a way to build structure to your missions uh again you could have various uh like on nellis you know, with the 51st, they've got all these different training areas outside of Nellis. So they've got points associated with those training uh, areas. And so if you're going to do a sortie into, you know, for instance, this training area right here, you could just then be able to input those list points to create your route or to at least create the boundaries of the route. And it'll just give you an idea, keep you keep you honest as to where you are. Anyhow, I thought that was pretty cool. It's pretty neat little system. I don't know that any of the other aircraft in DCS do that. Like I said, I really didn't see anything in the manual about it. Uh, it referenced the list button, but it's uh, at least in the last man manual that I looked at this morning, it had that as it didn't even work, but it does work. Uh, again, not sure how many numbers, probably more than you're going to need. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.